everyone. I am Dr. Pavitra Nagraj, pediatric and adolescent endocrinologist working at Narayana Hospitals, Bangalore. In the last two years, say from 2020, we have had a bad pandemic hitting our country. You think it was limited to cough, fever and few deaths? No, it's beyond that. We have even had an epidemic. What do you mean by an epidemic is, we have had other health related issues which did occur during this pandemic and which struck the children, that is obesity. Many children have consulted me in the last two years of gaining immensely and landing up in other complications. Many children did not come to me saying they have gained weight, but they came with other symptoms like many girls not having their cycles regularly, having black pigmentations at the back of the neck, having acne or pimples on the face or few children even came to me saying they were passing increased urine or they feeling very thirsty. So why did we have this epidemic during the pandemic? Yes, that is because we were all shut down in our houses and we absolutely had no physical activity. This led to decreased activity sitting down in front of electronic gadgets which led to increase in the weight and not to forget all the mothers became a good chef which landed up cooking more at home and increasing in obesity so what can this obesity lead to in children the most common complication of obesity is insulin resistance what we mean by insulin resistance is nothing but to say it in layman term, it is pre-diabetes. Here, there is increase in the levels of insulin. That is because the insulin is not acting at the peripheral organs because there is accumulation of fat everywhere. So how do we recognize insulin resistance in children? The most common symptom is the black pigmentation at the creases. The most common being the nape of the neck, that is the back of the neck. It can be in the axilla or the groin. So this is the first sign there is insulin resistance. So the parents might be thinking that the children have grown and they're taking bath by their own and that is why there is black pigmentation. No, it's not because of not taking bath properly, but it is because of insulin resistance. The second point or the symptom of insulin resistance can be irregular cycles in girls leading to PCOS, that is polycystic ovarian syndrome. PCOS itself is a huge entity and there are n number of causes for PCOS. The other symptom or the sign of insulin resistance is having pimples on the face, which is the most common cause. So the first complication of being obese or overweight is insulin resistance. The other causes or the side effects of obesity is dyslipidemia, that is be having high cholesterols in the body. All of you know having high cholesterols can lead to other complications like having high blood pressures that is hypertension. Second can lead to increased number of cardiac issues like even coronary artery diseases. So isn't it scary for all of you? Yes, having insulin resistance that is pre-diabetes and high cholesterol levels can again lead to deadly complications in a child. The other most deadly complication of being obese is type 2 diabetes. You may not have any symptoms initially of say insulin resistance and you must have missed them and the child lands up in type 2 diabetes who have symptoms like polyuria that is increased urine, polydipsia having increased thirst and increased appetite that is eating more. So what led to obesity? It's You think it is just not having physical activity? No, there is much more beyond just sitting idle. One, yes, we were all locked down inside the houses and which led to decreased physical activity is one most common. But the second most common cause for obesity was sitting in front of the gadgets. I agree, all the schools had online classes but we could have made some efforts with children having few exercises or say even walking, skipping, yoga at home within the four walls. 
The third thing is eating in front of the gadgets. I have seen many kids who just uh, sit on the sofas or beds and have their meals. This causes obesity is because they are stuck to the computers or the screens where they have no idea how much they are consuming. The second thing is the visual effects does affect the hormonal levels and cause increased appetite. So the three things which we can prevent and prevent obesity is please tell your children to have a walk or a scroll uh, around the park or even a yoga or say even skipping at home would help. The second thing don't stick onto your screens now that the schools have opened even if the schools haven't opened I think we can afford to have some physical activity and reduce the screen time. Many parents tell that they have to sit in front of the computers to write down the notes. Why can't we take printouts just for a couple of days or months and let them copy from that. The third thing avoid eating in front of the gadgets. The olden days we used to sit on the floor and we used to have our food. I think we need to get back to those days where we either sit on the floor or a proper chair with the gadgets switched off and have our meals. So I request all the parents to make an effort to prevent obesity, prevent type 2 diabetes and also we can avoid our nation to be called as the capital of diabetes. Thank you.